I'm Paul Wheaton, and my mission today is to share information about residential heating and cooking that may be the most sustainable solution for both third world countries and first world countries. The current problems are massive and devastating. Twelve years ago, I heard about an attempt to solve this with solar ovens. The result was that the effort didn't quite fit the culture. Rocket stoves were introduced that would do cooking with one-tenth the wood and about a hundredth of the smoke. Not a perfect solution, but a strong step in the right direction because it fit the culture. A strong reduction in pollutants and a reversal in desertification. The rocket stove technology was modified to work as a source of residential heat called a rocket mass heater. The most popular designs being made dominantly of mud. A conventional wood stove extracts the heat immediately, so the temperatures in the fire rarely get hot enough to burn the smoke and creosote. Further, to keep a home warm through the night, the fire is typically choked down for a slow all-night burn. This act will force a 75% efficient wood stove to burn at 3% efficiency, smoky with a lot of creosote. A rocket mass heater is designed only for hot burns and insulates the fire to get temperatures over 1800 degrees, which burns the smoke and creosote. A portion of the heat is directed to a mass which will spread that heat out over the next few days, thus eliminating the desire to have an unattended fire at night. Rocket mass heaters started entering homes about 10 years ago. We're discovering several optimizations every year for both first world countries, making them more handsome, and for third world countries, exploring ways to build them from materials found in the local landscapes. The amount of wood required to heat a home through an entire winter is so small it could be collected from the branches and twigs that naturally fall from a few nearby trees. In this video, we built a rocket mass heater as part of an outdoor demonstration in an hour and 10 minutes. You can see the fire burning, and not only is the exhaust clear, but... Do you smell anything? No, I, I, a little, I mean, a little, I smell, 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 but not, there's, you know. It's like not, yeah. but yeah, you're obviously not getting smoked right. out there. Right. How many people would stick their face into the smoke coming out of a conventional wood stove? <laughs> the average carbon footprint for electric heat in Montana is 29 tons. To heat that same home with a rocket mass heater is 0 0.4 tons. Scaling this solution to a billion people would solve climate change. We are re-exploring the use of this technology with cooking, but this time routing the exhaust outside. Rocket cooktops and rocket ovens. There is nothing proprietary here. This information has been shared freely. We are also re-exploring some low-tech building designs that use the heat from the summer to heat a home through winter, and conversely, cool a home in the summer as the heat is stored. Naturally, this form of winter heat has zero pollution of any kind. We hope to get the design to the point that this form of construction is less than the cost of building a conventional home. Thanks for inviting me to speak at the Singapore International Energy Week. More about my projects can be found at permies.com.